Hello again from the Bergen Festival in Aachen. After a short break, now we immediately continue with the second round of the Super Jackpot uh, matches between uh, Dorkwin Snaheim from Norway and Mick Larsen. And uh, I'm waiting for Michel. He will be so nice to also co commentate with me. Together, I saw the, the end of the last match between uh, Mochi and Gerd van der Stricht. It was really exciting. And of course, I hope that uh, we will be see something similar here. So, we're about to start. Hi, Terje. Hi, Terje. Okay. Double aces, make the four. Seems fine. Four, make the anchor. Great shot, actually. Uh, that's very important when the opponent has made the four points. So that was, yeah, joker, I would say. Two, one. So, okay, I have to concentrate now a little bit. They're playing with baffle box, so I, I'm have to get used to it so i have to pay a little bit more attention to who is on roll but uh, i can see it with the clock so yeah dark fin now that uh, uh mick has the anchor probably should also try to get an anchor yeah that's the play i like uh, because that's usually how you counter when your opponent has a good advanced anchor you try to go for one yourself didn't work out for him, so he will split his back checkers again, get, gain some footing, and mix home board. Five, one, that's a hit, and continue. He has to leave a shot anyway, so he might as well play offense. Five, three, so where do you enter? Probably just the checker down, no extra blots. For one, looks like he just has to play 13 8 because I don't see an ace after covering. Uh, I don't like that too much because you have a strip position and uh, also not. So so first of all, it usually doesn't work. And when it works, uh, then you have to cover when you get missed. And so I think this is much more flexible. And with a good anchor, you really don't mind get hit on the deuce. Yeah, that's that's a good play, I think. Hit, of course, and maybe step to the bar. 39 is also an option. But I feel like uh, now that he's on the bar, maybe he should go. Yeah, I I like uh, jumping into the bar. So Michel just entered the room. Uh, so, uh, but he told me he needs a bit more time. So uh, take your time, Michel. I will. Handle it. And the last time we co-commentated, you had to take over. So now I'm giving back the favor. <laughs> okay, so in and hit. Sure. And in and now he can think about hitting, but I, I mean, It's a, uh, with four checkers back, probably he, uh, mix uh, back checkers are not in so much danger, so I understand it. But it's always like you really have to be careful leaving the anchor when, when the opponent has a strong front structure. So Darkwin just hits and certainly hopes for a bad number. Now he remakes the anchor. For sure, and I think 1310 is best, yes. Six, 
two makes the bar, I guess. You would have liked to hit, but unfortunately the roll is blocked. Six, four. I would come out with the back checker, yes. And then think about the four. I think just continuing. You don't want to play 10 to six. Six, five, interesting. So he doesn't want, I mean, he has to run with his back checkers because he just cannot make the juice point or something. And uh, that's not the right idea. I think so. Because you then have uh, lots of checkers buried deep in the front and then you have also all these checkers in the back end maybe splitting to the bar and eight to two looks nice i haven't seen that i think i would do this now that i see it because i really prefer to keep the 22 anchor yes i i think i made up my mind uh let's see what darkfin does But yeah, that looks like a fine. Eh. That's. I think you should keep three. Yeah, he's looking at various options. I'm not so, not a fan of this play. And Mick definitely should. Uh, look at the doubling cube and think about it because he has like if he makes the five point for example could easily lose his market i mean he is in con mick is in control of the outfield and can build a prime and these three black checkers the way home for them is awfully long so yeah Probably I would have shifted uh, advantages on all sides of the board, the anchor, some market losers. I'm surprised that he didn't think about it. I think I would have cubed here. Three one hits and makes the anchor again. So certainly good roll. Four one. So double fives, great shot. And make the three, I guess, or play super safe. Maybe that looks a bit too stiff. I think that's the natural play. Five. And do you want to come out? Probably. I mean, this is now a fight for the outfield. So Michelle is back. So you recovered from last match, which was a uh, a little bit more exciting than average. I really had to get my heart rate down. Yeah. It was so, such an exciting finish. And it was also a prime example, I think, uh, why you shouldn't get into tra time travel because Gerd really had uh, difficult decisions and he just didn't have, have the time now when he needed it. Exactly. But, okay. These two players probably are not prone to uh, getting into time travel. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think so. No, I never, I never saw them in big time trouble. Mm -hmm. But of course, it can happen. You never know how long long a match will last, how many games, and how long the games are. Choice here between making the bar or the eleven. I think I'm. No, that 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 plays against the checker on the twenty two more priming potential mm -hmm. and making the eleven is that more probably more uh, I don't know this is interesting so it's eight numbers when he plays now from the mid. The one, other one is fewer numbers, I think, because tens are duplicated. Ah, <laughs> yes. And it's, yeah, uh, this may happen, so you have a nice blocking structure. Mm -hmm. I think had that checker, back checker, the third been on the five, you make the blocking point on right, the 11. Right, right. 
it blocks sixes, but the sixes played well from the 22 points. Yes, good observation. So, yeah, no okay. shots. So, Dark Finn wants to jump out. That's and the great. two is a big improvement. And do you play four to one here just to keep the spare, sure. Michel? Um, because six to three looks a bit. I think I would play uh, four to one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bit unnatural. Well, of course, you're not happy to have the ace point. It uh, looks more flexible. Yeah, yeah I like the spare on the six feels good. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, one checker out and, for sure. And one behind the anchor. Or just uh, continue because uh, Darkfin has a has a blot on his in his home board. And it's a, a little bit impure, so you really don't want to have that blot. Mm -hmm. I'm not not sure. Mm. This is also an option, but I really like this outpost on the 12. Mm -hmm. Even though it doesn't block anything. Yeah, even though, but it's a landing spot, and it's always like uh, when you have blots there at some point, you have to move them, and then the the other guy jumps into the outfield. So it's just like it's 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 the replacement midpoint basically. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I see. Yeah, but uh, it's a fine one. Yeah, out and cover. Mm -hmm. Don't know what other alternative he sees, in, especially now that the blot is there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, no, no, I don't like it. But he's taking his time, so that's always good. I think this is also not so nice. I, I don't think you give up your structure. Just go for contact and make your ball strong. Okay, maybe he didn't even see it. <laughs> I suspect, I suspect mm -hmm. because uh, it, it looked to me like the natural play, or don't you think? With... Yes, it looked natural, indeed, to strengthen the board. Uh, because this, now you have this liability, you hit a shot from the bar, something. So this is generally uh, true when you are expecting an ex exchange of hits. Of course, you want to have your board as strong as possible. Mm -hmm. Here, making the 11 does make sense. Ah, ah Elias is there. Hi, Elias. Hi, Elias. Okay. And hi, Mr. Goldflager. Marcel is your name, if I'm correct, but maybe I'm confused, so you can confirm this. It was a strange choice, I think, by Mick to make the 10, while the four point it's made it look more natural to make the 11. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't a great shot. Yeah, the 11 seems to be the better block. I mean, it is the better blocking point. Uh, mm -hmm. So now he probably just makes the 8 with the 3 checkers. I mean, I don't see... Or he can just... Oh, he can keep the blocking structure, yes. Mm -hmm. Probably. This looks better. This looks better for sure. Fewer numbers jump out into the outfield. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, for one and for two. Mm. Okay, so I think you want to get back your board, so you have to clear the eight, I suppose, so that you can remake it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great shot, looks like. Yeah. So you are the race expert who's mm. leading. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Looks okay. Looks Six, fairly close. 48, 108 for black. 48, 78, 82, 96. So 12 pips up mm -hmm. for white. So that's not good enough. So he did the same thing, apparently, while you were counting, he was counting. So mm -hmm. it's good. Yeah, now he can clear it because of Darkfin's blots. And maybe now we see a cube coming. No, we yeah, don't. Now, 
Mick pays the price for not having made the 11. Yeah. But that's uh, hindsight. Yeah. After roll analysis. <laughs> yep. And now, if I have counted correctly, Mick is up one, now up 10. If I start from your numbers, ah, okay, you got 12, uh, 11, 23, minus 24. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, race is still close. No cube action yet. 10 to 6, I would mm -hmm. say. Sure. You rather want to distribute your checkers on the higher points in the bearing. Six, four, seven. Well, still the visuals tell me it's it's should be close. Yeah. 67 for white, 44, 55, 63. Only four pips up, now nine pips up, I think. Huh? So an equal race now. I would, I thought uh, it looked like Mick is a bit down in the race actually, but probably it's just my visuals that, that are not working here. Uh, so. Okay, now. So 54 for black. And 57 for white. Ah, okay. Three pips. Sure. Yeah. Okay. That should give maybe Nick a small advantage once again. Double fours. If there was ever an advantage, it's gone now. Yep. <laughs> okay. Five, two, and now? 43, that is. 29, 35. Yeah, now it looks like a double pass. Yeah, even with the gap. And how many check? Nine checkers on the board against 10? 35, 43. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A wastage. Take into account and a gap on the four. Mm -hmm. So maybe the Keith count is a good tool. Yeah. 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 Here it's a bit difficult to because the the Keith punishes the gap on the four with only one pip, and that gap is is worth more when uh, than one pip because of so many uh, checkers behind. So you yeah. have to punish it with more. Yeah. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is a take, even though some formulas my might disagree. Mm -hmm. So five, thirty-eight, forty. Three. So it's a borderline, I would say. Big takes. Yeah, I, I like the take actually mm -hmm. because of this Hard really big big wastage. Okay. It's tough to take in such a short race, being down by that much. Mm -hmm. Tough to take. Wow, we could get into an interesting... Uh, that was not big enough for Mick. So Mick hasn't been practicing much lately, he told me. Hmm. Yeah, Elias says probably marginal take. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if the formulas uh, say uh, a drop, but it's a take anyway. But uh, yeah, it's tough with uh, such a deficit to take, certainly. Yeah. But according to the Keith count, the difference was two indicating a narrow drop 
I would have gone by the Keith count here, mm. but the Keith count is not um, uh, flawless. No, I uh, just made some experiments with these gaps on the four point, and sometimes they were worth uh, three pips, even more than two, even. So this looked uh, like a really bad gap. Yeah, yes. <laughs> a gap on the three point would have been uh, not so serious, because you can mostly fill it with threes from the yeah. six. And with the fours, you have to dump your checkers deeply. So, mm -hmm. so nice start for Darkfin. In the match, six five bad shot. I think you just have to go to the deuce. At least the aces are duplicated. <laughs> yes. Okay. And shot. That, now he really takes command of the game, and I think no, he should move wow. the back checkers. I mean, he's so close to cubing once he has the anchor. Mm -hmm. So actually, my first threes would be going to the twenty one. Mm -hmm. And then there's six to three, seems reasonable, leaves fewer shots. Yeah, here you trade the eight points mm -hmm. for the five points. Yeah, where leaves some blocks. Yeah. Here you have a, a gapped four prime. Yeah, and also you protect your checker on the nine because now six two mm -hmm. doesn't even hit. So it's actually only three numbers and you have uh, pretty good builders to, to build another inside point. So probably yeah, that would be my play, I think. Mm -hmm. But my second choice would be uh, make make the five. But uh, I certainly would include uh, the 21 in my choice. Definitely. I agree. Yeah, difficult to... Um... Yeah, I mean, he can, in. maybe, maybe he's correct, uh, simple, <laughs> the 2-6. <two>, <laughs> yeah, there it is, yeah. <laughs> because of the blood, I, uh, maybe it's just less damaging, because you, as you can see, you may hit in return. Yep. The chat has fallen silent for a, for a moment. It's, uh... At least that doesn't mean we don't that we that sound is still okay. Yeah, that's <laughs> that true. That means... Yeah, it fell out like twice in the previous match. Yeah, but we were fortunately quickly alerted. Yeah, and there's a very quick remedy too. That's also fortunate. For mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. the bear of take was huge according to XJ Mobile. So yeah, now we got the confirmation. Huge take. Wow. I didn't know. Uh, Huge, but I had a hunch uh, uh, for it to be a take rate shot by a dark fin. So this is pretty, even though it makes the five prime, it's too fast. Yes, the timing is in black's favor. And he is the ah, yes. advanced anchor. So I think he has to play six to two, no matter what. Mm -hmm. And probably make the five prime against the three checkers. That's pretty strong. And a yeah. double. Okay, so good decisions by both players. And here, yeah, yeah, that would be my play. Yeah. yeah, the advantage maybe of making the fourth point in board is that you may um, win, gain some time to roll the ace mm. while the other one dances. Yeah, but but maybe that's not your prime concern. Yeah. The prime is your concern. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, sorry for <laughs> prime that. concern. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, I mean, this is interesting mm -hmm. uh, because Darkwin notices his advantage because he has playability in the outfield, and I think if Mick doesn't roll, yeah, this is enough, and if it's tough for me to take this, because you want to. I mean, your position is one roll away from exploding. Mm -hmm. So certainly, yes, a cube. Yeah. And in Nick's shoes with the three checkers on the deuce. I mean, you really, so many good things have to happen. And Darkfin has all the playability. He can roll a six and completely control the outfield. So mm -hmm. I would drop. I would follow you. Wow, Mick takes. Wow. Okay, yeah. Well, at the five prime, now it, I mean, it still looks pretty, but uh, maybe that's just 
snapshot in time, it could be gone. Mm -hmm. Next roll. Double it, shift. No, 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 don't go for the blitz. You have the priming advantage. So mm -hmm. just go for the prime. Yeah. And I, I was so sure that you wouldn't blitz. You just looked at it, which is okay. And the problem is also with the aces that you step up with in mixed shoes, they come with a number. And then any ace that you step up with uh, also leaves a blot and breaks your prime. And mm -hmm. the ace is actually a good number. So I felt, yeah, Elias said uh, he would have doubled earlier. Yeah, it was interesting uh, whether it was a double from the bar, but I really think that Darkfin lost his market and uh, that Elias shouldn't have taken. Uh, Elias, I say, uh, Mick shouldn't have taken. Okay, here, destruction continues in the worst possible way. Yeah, uh, huge favorite now, Darkfin. To win even very good chances to win again, and that's for now the only goal now for Mick. Three, two hits, and uh, seven, two, four, yes. Mm -hmm. And so that's really bad for him now. Of course, mm -hmm. hitting everything. Ace gives some hope, but it's still, he really needs the anchor to, I mean, not even to try and win the game, but just to stay in it somehow and yeah, not lose a game. A double ace or 2 1 or something. Yeah, for now he's two on the roof. Two so, on the roof, yeah. yeah so. Okay, now it's interesting because yeah. Darkfin doesn't have the material necessary so that argues against the switch. Yeah, I think I would probably keep the... I mean, with the switch, with so many backs, would you have switched? Uh, I, would I have switched? Um, probably not. I hope I wouldn't have switched. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's correct. Good. Mm. But I don't think so. No. Too many checkers back. One more checker in the zone from the back checkers. Yes, you can go for the all out blitz. But he can keep his prime and win a game in any way with uh, much less risk. So now the question is whether you hit on the ace to keep him from anchoring. I think so. Or just uh, hope that he dances and attack that last checker. Later. Later. Yes. Kirt told me that this was like the most important thing he learned from your book. Uh -huh. That you don't have to hit right away, you can always hit later. Not always, Not but often, uh, sometimes. sometimes uh -huh. Oftentimes, like in this case, so now you will hit. Mm -hmm. That was an interesting decision. Yeah, though. yeah. Yeah, I thought uh, if you hit the, ch even if you get hit back, I mean, you have the prime, so you basically, there's virtually no way, way to lose. Mm -hmm. And if Mick rolls the ace immediately, then with the anchor, he can save quite a few gamut. So, but certainly nothing wrong with simply making the five point board. So here we go. We have this ace point game is now on the way. Not a good one, but certainly big improvement for Mick. Mick is probably not looking for a quick ace now because mm -hmm. he will dislodge mm -hmm. a checker from his nine points. Some of them at least, Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Or oh, actually only ace, ace five and ace yeah, yeah. But anyhow. Uh looks so like a run race, but freaky things can happen. Yeah. So Darkwind's plan should be to slot the bar, make it, uh, let let Mick enter, and then try to pick up a fourth checker because he has the luxury of just going for the game. So I would certainly slot the bar and bring one of the back the checker on the twenty one around, okay. probably. Mm -hmm. But yeah, maybe that's an overplay. I mean, you also. Yeah, if the opponent rolls a6 and you dance, these are always like possible sequences, of course. Yeah. Yeah, these are tactical considerations. Mm. Yeah, I like this play. Yeah, I agree. 
Okay, here we go. Yeah, the four. Hmm. Uh, I mean, he hmm. is probably going to leave a shot later anyway, so you might as well run for it now, maybe. So this was unfortunate for Darkfin, and yeah, yeah, the checker is not very helpful there. Okay, that just hitting probably best. Okay, they have problems with the baffle box, it seems. Yep. And now they uh, have to check. Okay, now no, it was illegal the roll, and this one is legal, and unfortunately, for Mick, quite good. <laughs> Hitting another checker and now it's really tough to save the gammon. And we had it in matches before. In these positions, there is a significant amount of backgammon also possible. I mean, it just seems to be the theme mm -hmm. of these streams, at least the ones I do. There are these backgammon options. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would play like six to three with uh, with three, probably. There's probably not much in it. Yeah, but probably no big difference. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's even it's better like he played it because he wants to keep the five point board, the prime basically as long as possible, because he's not afraid of getting it. Usually you 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 rush to clear the six point against an ace point game but here the longer you keep the prime the more gammons and backgammons you will win so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i think you should take just take checkers off mm -hmm. so we have uh okay ryan hey ryan has a bet on on mick hopefully not too much at this stage uh, i would say uh Hey Dice Man and hey Marianne. Looks good for Darkfin so far. The good six. Yeah. Oh, okay. what? Not. I mean, it's only basically annoying if if you. Yeah, probably you're still a favorite to win a game, and even after you get hit, but still a bit annoying. So let's see what he can do. Six two is terrible. Again, it's. Mostly about now saving the backgammon first yeah. step. Two play safe. Three two is terrible because uh, Mick really wanted to release the third checker. Yeah, for sure. To get out of backgammon trouble. Wow. Yeah. So five two out for sure. Now there are double blotters again. Yeah, but this is not one of them. Although we would have loved to take off two checkers, of course. Yep. Three one is a disaster. Mm -hmm. Total disaster. And wow. Backgammons are alive. Yeah, that was pretty bad. So the hit required. There it is. There it is. So we have some more. And now, <laughs> now do you play five to three to minimize <laughs> shots? <laughs> but yeah, we don't really care. I mean, this is so difficult. This is computer stuff. Yeah, this is something for the computers and probably even them don't really know. I would have tried to avoid double hits because they are the killers. Okay. So maybe. Yeah, so five this to three looked sensible. Okay. My instinct would have said, Maybe go to the 19, just I still have the back given in mind with all of a sudden you, you you accumulate checkers in your opponent's home board and then, okay, this was uh, big, but this is so hard to play. Now that, that was a good shot. Yeah, with uh, high no-brainer quality. Yeah, <laughs> these breaks you really like in a containment game that you have some easy rolls, not like this one. What to do? Make yeah. a point in the outfield? Maybe kind yeah. of block something? Like yeah, like uh, produce some a second blot, but I don't see it. 
I mean, four and five. Yeah, I get closer like to us. get closer to. Yeah, this is a nice play. Mm -hmm. I think it's only double sixes that really kills you. Then we are back to to our favorite subject, backgammon. So five two. Now oh, many shots. Triple shot, three, ace is clear, and Ooh. yeah, who knows? So I certainly don't. One and still will be difficult to save the G, but there is some hope now, some real hope. Mm -hmm. So are there any like rules of thumb to yeah. follow in containment situations like this? Uh, where you basically don't have a chance and just want to <clears throat> don't leave too many shots. I mean, when you can't win anyway, you, you're, not, <clears throat> you're not slotting your inside points right, uh, right, compared right. to when, have, when you have a strong board. So it, you try to leave as few return shots as possible. Mm -hmm. So here, I probably would just play 1715 because that would follow that rule of thumb mm -hmm. and just hope. So you also, if you can hit lose, this is not it, but a great shot anyway. Maybe making the three and staying back or are you I, I fully going here for can, saving the gamut? Yeah, fully going here for making the three and make the mid and then I think I wouldn't leave anything because how do you want to win this? And if you get hit, or oh, oh, this, like I, this. I, yeah, this okay. is even that's a gamut saving move, I would say. Okay. Yeah. However, that leaves a shot, ten shot. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can also make the nine. Yeah, that's the safest. Yeah, thank you, Ryan. We didn't see it. What does Ryan suggest? I mean, the gammon, gammon safe move would be make the bar and the nine and forget about containing yes. the checker. Yes, yes, yes. That's I mean, that's, that's our goal. We, yeah. we just want to save the gammon and uh, that's it. Didn't see that even, but Ryan is usually faster than anybody uh, seeing all these options. Yes. I think I would be tempted to make the three, establish a four point board. I, I don't like this play. This leaves the plot, gives some chances. And, and yeah. And even now, if uh, okay, he rolls big, so he should just run home and be very happy yeah. that. It's pretty much the maximum that he has achieved and shouldn't think about uh, containing the checker, just yeah. just go home basically. Yeah. And oh, if Darkwin okay. doesn't roll double sixes, it will be a save. No, it, it's a save already, so great mm. result for Mick. Yeah, narrow escape. Yeah. Yeah, agree. Everybody agrees in the chat. Uh, you simply should uh, look for the best way to save the gammon, and best way is not leaving any shots mm -hmm. because there's no upside when you do cannot win. What's the upside? So, just okay, but you cannot cannot win. Isn't that like relative? Yeah, let's say you have a two percent win chance, mm -hmm. but certainly leaving the shot should increase your gamma losses by, by 10 or something. Mm -hmm. It's just not the correct ratio, usually. <laughs> yeah, I agree with Hans Marius. I think, I would think if I have a four point board and he's on the bar that I still have like a bit of winning chances yeah. and get um, delusional. Yeah. Certainly you have winning chances, but first you have to get him on the bar. So that's a big chunk of sequences you, you ne never get him on the bar mm -hmm. and then once you once you get him on the bar you have maybe 10 percent so that is why i come up with a very low win percentage right and yeah he needs to dance a couple of times you need to roll high yeah yeah and with three checkers mm -hmm. i mean you have five and 
six point open, so it's such a long shot. Mm -hmm. So five four make the four point, yes. Three two. Pointing mm. number. Pointing number. Tempting to go for it. I mean, I can see the danger. Some awkward returns, but thirteen eight uh, just gives the initiative away. What's your plan after thirteen eight? Uh, you you are even not even ahead in the race. I would say not really. Mm -hmm. So I think you should do this. Yeah, I like it. Three six, good shot. Yep, especially with a stronger board. Mm -hmm. So Darkfin better comes in if he wants to dodge a cube. And this, I think, is yeah. clear cube. Com and, and at this score, I don't think I would take this, Yeah, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is for nothing. You really have to deviate already from, I mean, it looks healthy, of course, because of the four point. However, uh, Darkwind's main problem is, yes, he wins a lot of games, but he cannot convert these wins into profitable recubes or very rarely uh -huh. at the form nothing lead when I mean, you experience it, you own a two, two cube when mm -hmm. when can you ever give it back to to four with this lead and that does take. He does take. Okay, yeah, it's it should be a money take for sure. But maybe it's also a take at that score. Maybe I'm over adjusting. That could also easily happen. Great shot makes the deuce. Twenty three anchor. So I'm really curious. Anybody check this? Okay, another great shot makes the seven. Two hits. Slight counterplay. Possibilities yeah, yeah. but thing. yeah, now after Mick has made the seven, it's a lot more difficult. Yeah, up to mm. the 20. Mm. Uh, six to three for safety's sake. Yeah, it's a bit stiff. I certainly don't want to play this. I would uh, discard mm -hmm. this. This yeah. is just, uh, I mean, Darkwing only has uh, nine checkers in the zone. I mean, 13. 10, the aces are duplicated. If you get hit on the mid, you, you, yeah, 13, 10 make maybe the better play because this is a bit stiff. Okay. I mean, so hit two, probably, uh, yeah, or no, nah, maybe not, but uh, yeah, hit two and make the 11 looks kind of cool. I mm -hmm. mean, making the bar and trying to counter prime is the other option. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This looks um, sound. Sound, yeah, and certainly loses fewer gamins. Yeah, maybe it's just play simple, don't leave shots. Opponent's uh, structure is really strong. Okay, now he should hit on the three, or is there anything else? So make the five for sure. Mm -hmm. Hit on the three and play thirteen ten. Looks good. Yeah. Like it? I mean, what it involves a bit of risk in case you get hit back. Yeah, but this is your way of getting counterplay. And yeah, now there's true. the other blood. Uh, yeah. White might as well dance, and then all of a sudden, mm. a six. Uh, you can see now. We can see a sure. drive on. Wow. Me. Ah, okay. Actually, mobile would drop. So, in the oh, what a joker! So indeed, you have to adjust to the match score. In a pretty strong oh, great way. Hit. Yeah. It was but badly still, hit. these checkers on the ace, uh -huh. they have such a long way. But here you can see what I meant. Now, Darkwin is in a commanding position, but he probably has to improve to, to get anywhere near Recube. Also, if he continues rolling well and winning a game, and that's also fine. So, he doesn't, so a game on the two cube is also. Of course, a great result, but that gives him even less incentive to to cube to to four because then uh, uh, his his gammon wins are less valuable. But okay, that's all looking into the future. But just to explain a bit why I was had my doubts about uh, 
to take because of the score. So six two interesting. Ooh, very I th interesting. I think you should hit. Right. I mean, stepping out into the. Yeah, if you, if you go all the way, you would duplicate yeah, aces but, and threes. But uh, you would then expose yourself to. I mean, you cannot go all. I mean, you have to safety the block then. Ah, yes. Yeah. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, sure. you cannot go all the way because yeah, mm -hmm. I, I like I like this play. Okay. So the the direct route to Don't win the throat. Yeah. And again, at this score, probably. It will, yes. No cube. 5 2, great shot. So now he actually is actually hoping for Mick to come in. And Mick complies. So now, what is this? But at the score, probably still no cube. No, no, no. I think for a recube uh, that uh, Mick's take point is maybe probably 18% or something. something. Yeah, even low and also all the, his recube big with the recubes to eight. So Darkwing rolls a bad roll and he right. ships it back immediately. Mm -hmm. Again, harping on that. That was part or the main reason why he probably shouldn't have taken in the first place because mm -hmm. he just doesn't have any recube power or very little. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But typically the winning chunk, uh, this is a pr pure prime versus prime. Mm -hmm. So would you guess that um, Darkfin's winning chances are around 66% or something? Mm -hmm. I think they or are more. even higher, mm -hmm. but... but he needs them to be like in the 80 range probably yeah. to consider recubing. I agree. He needs to get really close to mix. Uh, uh, I mean, points. also like a two bad. I, I would, by the way, I would play the four one like this. Two rolls without a six, and then he cracks first. Mm -hmm. And as soon as he cracks, or maybe even before that, uh, Mick can just ship it back to eight. I just agree. Uh, no. Yeah, I, I also think that the recube is out of the question. Yeah. Just imagine you roll double five or double four or five uh, four. Uh, five four. Uh, probably I would just. Yeah, maybe maybe I would ship it, but I mean, I guess uh, you got the point. Uh, so certainly no recube, and I like this play, not dumping a checker on the ace. Mm -hmm. To be honest. Okay. And Darkfin, of course, is already, you, or not of course, but I would guess that he's already thinking about all this. So this is a recommendation. Uh, when your opponent is uh, has a difficult decision and uses his or her time, uh, you should also use this time uh, efficiently and uh, think about possible future decisions. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure that Darkwin already has has thought about potential recubes and so now he doesn't need to waste time and this is a win now it's basically a win yes i mean darkwin has never lost the use point game good information thank you i will remember that uh, so he's just playing on for the game now mm -hmm. so now it's too good it's really so tough to hit a proper cube and mick is it was a really bad follow up mm -hmm. now mick wants to roll double sixes or something six oh, two is good yeah, so good, maybe good, darkwin good. should think about yep. cubing here because okay uh, mick cannot take so we have won the game and the problem is we also don't win too many gamins, but on the other hand, it's own. I mean, the big numbers run out, and the, most of the small numbers don't break your structure. Yes, I noticed when Darkfin rolled the five one, he like leaned back, mm -hmm. you know, as if he sees a challenging decision. Yeah, here. I mean, he, he, I know he. Okay. Mm -hmm. he, he he was uh, thinking about whether to good or not. No, he it was a five. He rolled again. <laughs> okay, yeah, he didn't move the five one and rolled again. So oh, really, ah uh, yes, okay. yes, yes. Uh, I was confused. Re also. Remember, we we are like in this fifth day of the tournament, yeah. and even mm -hmm. the best, and they both belong to the best in the world, can have these mental glitches. Glitches, <laughs> yes. 
Uh, but uh, yeah, he's he should think about the five one and not three roll. Yeah. So I would just jump out and lock up the win. Right. I think he was wondering: Should I now stay back for mm -hmm. more gammons or not? He rolled the five one and then went like this. For what to do now? What's 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 by the way the ruling if somebody objects to the guy rolling and uh, then instead of moving rolling again, <laughs> so rule, can can Nick now choose which mm -hmm. uh, which roll he prefers? He's laughing, so mm -hmm. of course I would have just jumped out. So then I I'm sure that I can, can cash. Oh yeah. Ah, uh, Marianne, don't worry. I, I mean, no, it it, it happens uh, to everybody. Yeah. He so, decided to stay back. Okay, interesting. So Mick should make the the deuce point. I don't think so. Well, or, I mean, if you if you then you five, lost. He has a bad double four. He's like forced to. Yeah, uh, but this right. this only invites Starkin uh -huh. to win Germans. I mean, now he sees a bad two four. Mm -hmm. I think there's this checker missing. Ah, he is. It's it's back. But remember. In mixed shoes, you cannot win the game. It's always like uh, you are, you're at your opponent's mercy. He mm -hmm. can keep you out whenever. Well, but as Darkfin continues to play on for the gammon at a certain moment, there will be at least some ri small risk involved. Yeah. Yeah, for example, an immediate 6-5. Mm -hmm. And you Mick, never know. Mick, Mick makes this board, yeah, like this Allah. probably. Exactly. Question is whether I really want to play on what is what else is bad. See, like here, do you take the risk of a 6-5? Yeah, I don't I would I, I certainly would 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 think about it. Maybe it's mm -hmm. still I mean, how many games do you win? 15% or something? Mm -hmm. I mean it's a long way to lose this. Especially now with mixed board opening up. So they're both playing below 2.5 for the moment. That's great. Mm -hmm. There's the 6.5. So six the five. question is um, right. okay, what let, now? if she rolls a 6 yeah, something, six something, can, I mean, Dark can, can make, t I mean, these are super difficult cube action as, at the yes. score. So. Wow. Another one? Another shot, yes. Just imagine a double five or something. Nope. Not this time. Okay, so you can safely continue playing on. Mm -hmm. Okay, out. Yes, sure. Darkfin can continue here. Good shot, mm -hmm. keeps the gammon hope alive and kills any chance of counterplay. For one, yeah, you keep, of course, the structure and maybe even play uh, more flexible with two to one. So you, you have more roles that keep uh, the, the, the five point board. Okay. Because you are really not worried about anything. Mm hmm. But these are minor details, uh, mm -hmm. not at least uh, what we can say. It's not worth 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 uh, wasting your time back on these minor details. Mm -hmm. So Darkfin took an adventurous cube, yeah, and managed uh, to wriggle himself out of a. Yeah, but difficult situation. I, I take was certainly understandable. I, I, we mm -hmm. also don't know how big it is. Maybe no. maybe it was in the end a small take even, but yeah. I was going to say I would have. I don't think I would have known what to do if it had been for money. So then with the full yeah, full then, then yeah, for money I would have taken. Okay, Time. this is getting close. Okay, is there? Mm. There's no no bad roll for Mick. If you place it like this, so Darkwin is down to a doublet, another doublet for three is not it. So still will be happy to have a, so they are rolling. Maybe somebody's playing beam up or something, or was there a bad roll? Because I, for, ah, yes. 
I mean, this is uh, usually a sign that somebody is playing, or uh, mm -hmm. when you are playing B map, then you actually take the checker out because then you you get uh, an additional decision. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, five away, eleven away. Mm -hmm. Now, Darkfin definitely needs to be more prudent with his initial cubing, mm -hmm. because the recube is really powerful. Five away scores yeah, and are notoriously tricky, and of course, uh, just uh, with Mick, it's just the other way around. For mm -hmm. example, if Darkfin dances, this is not a cube at zero zero but a big cube at uh, that score yep but he enters so probably not a cube uh, huh. usually you prefer to stay inside so that you get the chance to anchor somewhere yeah i like his play mm -hmm. so following the rule that you usually don't want to step into the outfield when you're down in the race don't make a racing move. 3 1 makes the 5. Double threes is a monster. I mean, just mm -hmm. uh, unstacks everything. Double fours. A switch is coming up, I suppose. Oh, wow. 6 to 2 would be my first choice. Mm. Yeah, because uh, you have, I mean, you are. I have a blitzy position with the deep points. You cannot really counter prime. So I think that's just a natural move. Just switch. And also, because of the leverage you have at the score when you're down that much, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, probably he can even ship it when mm -hmm. Darkfin dances, with, which is almost half the time. So I certainly strongly prefer switching. I really don't like this. Yeah. But because it looks like Darkfin doesn't really have many bad roles here. At least he has his full role. Mm. But uh, maybe I'm wrong. But uh, so what would you do? Would you switch? <laughs> I Come. don't see if this contributes anything to the. I think so too. If, if you have to hear my my don't opinion, be as a so modest, please. Shifting makes sense because my idea would be you save some time. Yeah. If the opponent dances, you have time to extricate your checkers from the back yeah. Yeah. without fear of being attacked. Yeah. So I think I would switch, uh -huh. but maybe I over switch sometimes. Yeah. But here in this situation, mm -hmm. if my opponent switched, uh, so if the situation would be the other way around, I certainly would feel less comfortable. I agree. And Darkwind for sure feels less comfort comfortable uh, when he has to enter from the bar. Yeah, against the four-point board. Yeah. Yeah, there would be some pressure. So, yeah. So, so Nick, and Mick is uh, studiously analyzing this position. Mm -hmm. No, I don't like it. Okay. Like, so anybody, maybe I'm totally off here. Four, but so naturally three would have been a bad roll, but now it's a great roll. Anybody can tell us whether the, the switch was correct? Looks a bit like the chat is also dozing off. Yeah. <laughs> okay, double four, another monster. Yeah, and Do now like... again, switching or not ah, to yes. switch or not to switch. I would like to switch. <laughs> that's actually but maybe that's not necessary. Not as, yeah, you are time. dominating the mm -hmm. game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, blunder not to switch. Wow. Okay. Thank you, Tay. Yeah, Darkwind's approach should be a little bit different because he's leading in the match. He cannot give these aggressive blitz cubes. So, no. and like that, he keeps the structure. And what can uh, Mick do in this position? If he rolls an ace, it comes with, with something. Mm -hmm. Ace five is terrible. Ace four, four. is. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. And the juice is due two four. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. I think he probably he doesn't need to because otherwise. If he switches, then he needs to continue hitting loose and all that stuff, keeping from anchoring. So that's, yeah. It's, it's yeah, I think it has to do with the fact that Black has already escaped his mm -hmm. checker, so he doesn't need to buy time. Mm -hmm. 
to extricate his checkers because they are already extricated. Uh, so we just time buying. Sorry, Michel, but I think I we see. just lost the internet. Yeah, Can that yeah, be? yeah. It's, it, we do. We do. Do I have to alert uh, Mate? We, I think that's a good idea because I. Oh, no, now we are back. Now we are back. So we just Temporary. lost connection. And yes, um, that's a good strategy for the leader, I think. Now there's no reason to queue. No, again, a play on. So really comfortable games. It looked a bit so so. And now he's in command again and is. Mm -hmm. Making the bar, or yeah, making the bar, or, or maybe no risk at all. No risk for six. Okay. Yeah, but you play, you it's like this. You can win no matter what. Yeah. So now I think he should queue mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. some bad numbers like six five and really not too many gamins. Mm -hmm. And this is a position with low winning percentage. So that means. That's not the kind of position you're really happy to take. So I agree. And one point is uh, valuable for Darkfin. Mm -hmm. Brings him to four away. Mm -hmm. He doesn't really need the second point, which would bring him to three away. So that's always a consideration. Microphone problems. Hello. Sorry. Microphone. Better now? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. So was the cube? Uh, he didn't cube. Okay. So it's better now, Vlad. Now he cubes. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Interesting detail, but I think Mick yeah. probably would have dropped the roll before. Yeah, sure. And like this, uh, Darkfin gave him an, an opportunity to roll double sixes or something. Mm -hmm, so. mm -hmm. uh, the headphones uh, uh, go uh, off. So that uh, looks like a break. So we will be back shortly. Yeah.
Okay, players are ready. I hope. I saw them in the room, so I think we have a slight delay because that scene we saw live already. Yes. <laughs> so, but that doesn't matter. But actually, it's better uh, for security reasons. Not that there is any doubt or any any problem, but it's always like like better to have a time delay. I think. Yep. I mean, you use you do that in online play uh, when you are streaming online matches. That you have a little delay uh, so that uh, otherwise the players playing could uh, listen to the commentary yeah we pick up something yeah or everything <laughs> not that the integrity of uh, the ether player no no now. that's here here it's not uh, not a big deal more much bigger deal than online commentating mm -hmm. So probably they are playing now. Do you have any idea? This is the second round. Second round of Super Who they beat in the first round? Uh, I only watched uh, Mick beating Tristan Ramil. Ah. Off they go. Okay. Should he play two down now with the score? Yeah, but I mean, why, it's not? Just, why not? Sure. Uh, it's really correct with 5 4, but here and now it's the counter slot. Yes. Duplicating fours. Darkwin mm -hmm. takes his time because the 5 4 to down is an unusual opening. And so good that he thinks about it, but he will find the best play. Uh, okay. Uh, did you notice that Mick is not using the battle box anymore? Ah, no. <laughs> yeah. Ah. So, yeah, it helps psychologically, I guess, to do make some change. So maybe you can change the course. Certainly that battle box hasn't helped it so far. Yeah. Okay, but still doing a good job for, for Darkwin, another joker from the bar. Yes. Six, five. Oh. Okay, so yeah, <clears throat> just uh, continue. I mean, Darkwing has a long way to go to consider cubing. So out to the bar and make the nine. Yes, mm -hmm. natural. Okay, in and hit. I think. What else? Three. Try to make something happen. Yeah. That's a hit. Mm -hmm. So very comfortable position for Darkfin. That's already a good priming structure. So do you hit here is the question. Probably, I mean, going to the bar, splitting to the bar gives, gives the opponent all options. So I like the hit. Another hit. But at least maybe Mick will be able to get an anchor, here we go now. Okay. To, he can anchor. Yeah, I think he should mm -hmm. take the anchor sure. here and take it from there. So I would go to the mid. No, I wouldn't anchor. Oh, wouldn't anchor? I'm maybe just going to the. I, I'm not so sure because I mean, now with this. Big uh, race advantage. The first thing he will have to think about uh, is how to run, when to run from the 23. This is an immediate problem. So he could have avoided that in the first place by just splitting to the 20. Mm -hmm. But uh, five two. So now it already starts. So do you keep the for how long do you keep the anchor? <laughs> Yeah, he may be out-timed. He jumps out, yeah. Okay. No, right now I wouldn't do it because there's some chance to improve my front position still. Okay, double threes is interesting. Yes. Oof. Lots of options. Yeah, you would like to make the 18. 
For sure. I mean, that, but then I the think the 18 is so important here. I would make it. Yeah. Yes, this, this duplicating aces, mm -hmm. the midpoint mm -hmm. is stripped. Mm -hmm. I think that's the best play. I mean, I really like this play. Or make the bar and just make the 10, but that's a bit too dangerous. Yeah. But yeah, I, I like to upgrade the anchor here because going to the bar is really an upgrade. Yes. And if you just play something like 13, 4, 13, 10, that splits your forces. It really neutralizes um, Darkfin's main threat or major threat, which is making the bar. Yeah, which would give him a five prime against many checkers back, which mm -hmm. is always super strong. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. This, yeah, this is basically splitting his army in two which I don't like, yeah. giving up control of the outfield. Yeah, especially the bar point really looks uh, crucial. Yeah, he needs to neutralize that threat. Yeah. But he's thinking about it, nothing wrong with uh, taking your time. Even though seven minutes, when it still could be a long match, it's a little mm -hmm, mm -hmm. concerning at some point. It's only not concerning if he continues losing games, then he will have enough time to manage that. But when he starts a comeback, um, he might get some problems there. I really like this play. This is, for me, it's good strategic thinking. Yeah. Or three. Um, and go to the 11 yeah but you step don't... up all the way to the bar. I would still step up to the bar mm -hmm. uh, release the back checkers uh, you I mean the checker on the yes yes I like that on the 22 might be might come under attack okay so Darkwin mm. it has a big big racing lead so I mean, there is one option is, I mean, he can make the four and hit eight to two and see if something good happens because he's really not worried about uh, a return here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I really like that play too. So this was a good result. But he has some material to blitz that checker. Yes. Things and, go well. And his priming strategy is uh, out of the window since uh, Mick made the bar points, so mm -hmm. switching to a blitzing strategy might be interesting. No. Make, the five. make the five, yes. Yeah. Protects a bit against being attacked. Absolutely, but uh, Darkwin will attack anyway. Make the yeah. three, yes. Uh -huh. For a hit, and yeah, You're and sure? that's mm -hmm. and that's why you want to release checker, so you have playability in the outfield. Yeah. So now, I'll play the four. This is a, now. I guess he has to continue blitzing. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't see stepping out and breaking the anchor. As, no, no, no. I mean, if you have to leave a shot, or um, I mean, the dilly on the three looks. Doesn't look good and this seems natural to me to be honest. Yeah, with a stronger board, 10 checkers in the zone. Yeah, and another blot. Uh, inform your strategy. Okay, so yeah, far it works. Fortunate dance. And no, this is not a cube. Yeah, too much work to do. Yeah, covering the blot and escaping. Yeah, but this is uh, a role which achieves a lot. Yeah, so out from the four for sure, and to the nine, and out with the other checker. And uh, if uh, Mick dances again, then we are already again in a too good situation. So mm -hmm. he really needs to come in now. Wow, yeah, that's, that's the wow, 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 the monster Joker. So maybe we can see some cube action. 
Yeah. On the other side. After now, a dance. Yeah. Surely. So no dance. Um, yeah. Still looks a bit thin because yeah. not enough material, but uh, he really has to consider it here. Yes. Being down that much in, in a match, that's again like one of these how bad can it be spots. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> And you really want four points. And yeah, there are certainly market losers. You can make the three, make mm -hmm. the four, and he dances. So yeah, that's I a think good cube. Good cube. And I think uh, black is too strong to pass this. Uh, I think at least. Yeah, Hans <laughs> Mario says, I guess Dark Fin takes. I hope so, because I think it's a good take. Yes. And now he has to try the blitz, of course. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Crucial. This could become threatening. Nope. Wow. Great entry number. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, wow. Another good number. So we get a in really interesting game here. Aces, one, two, and uh, make the eight, nothing else, I guess. Nope. Or switch to the ace? Yeah, you don't want no, to weaken no, your no. board. Uh, okay. this no, is just, I'm just saying. Yeah, you're really no. not that concerned. Now white has only eight checkers in the zone. You for one, that's, oh. that's oh, a yeah. hit. That's yeah, a loose yeah, hit yeah. for sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, hoping to get something going. And Ooh, this is a switch. No. Yes, yes. Yeah. Clear now flip. it's nice to switch because you have the eight point. Six away from the open deuce. Two, five. So I guess you just come out probably yes so it's reducing shots some shots and plots maybe six five it's a run good shot uh, of the misses of course aces make the four mm -hmm. so there are some bad numbers now six four is not one of them so it's just natural yeah he only can continue I mean, mm -hmm. there's no mm -hmm. four mm -hmm. so need to think about much here six three is a miss so he'll three. just have to play from the bar point yes mm -hmm. and Ooh. this is not getting him home no so i 13-3 so looks, like. looks ugly, but minimizes shots. Uh, he certainly doesn't want to leave a double shot here. Yeah, I think 13-3. I mean, the four is basically forced, so that makes things easier. <coughs> By the way, good uh, structuring here of your move. Uh, make the number that... Make sure that that four is forced, play it, mm -hmm. and then think about mm -hmm. how to play the six. I'm not so sure why he should lead. I mean, is there any other four? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm overlooking something. But he has time, so. 14, eight. Okay. Yeah, so that's a, a typical bot play. Humans really don't like to expose themselves to double shots. But of course, if that play works, uh, uh, he's much closer to home. And an argument for leave if for playing this or, okay, two one. The two is nice, but no ace. So then the two is is not, not nice. nice. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, let's focus on the current position looks good uh, create a good double six if you get missed so duck and dances 
So the six would be great. Two so one. now the juice is nice because you can play the ace. <laughs> yeah, safely. Making yep. only four yeah, shots. So. A6. Probably in and out. I don't know. This is, looks so stripped. So it, I would have strongly considered just jumping up. But it's an awful, awful lot of shot, but shots. But this is certainly he played it faster than I would have. Mm -hmm. Because XG really likes this out place, uh, the jumping out when you otherwise have to. So strip. choice here between the bar or the three point. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, the bar point has more blocking value. Maybe that's, and Ooh. that gives him gives Darkfin no shifting. I think I like this one. Even if he steps up, so it, he is behind two five primes. Actually, if he steps up, there's the next five prime waiting for him. <laughs> so that was a great shot, by the way. Oh, this is a hit on a cover. cover. Yeah, sure. So this was just great shot. But even here now. Uh, you feel more comfortable having this blocking structure because that's a long way mm -hmm. to get home. It's a, it's a double prime, basically. Yes, you need first a two and then a five instead of just one six. And that's not mm -hmm. it. Yeah. The high volatility of four would be big. As a deuce. With a deuce. Okay, now you just clear the point, and you want you want to kill your sixes as quickly as possible. That's why you want uh -huh. to get to get your checkers inside the board. I okay. think once they're in the board, uh -huh. even if you step up, then no sixes are playable. So, oh, yes. and it preserves. So I would step inside. It's only double fours, and you're avoiding future trouble. So I think eight to three is the play. Okay. Hey, another fan. Two uses. Okay, the six is still playable, but okay. but now in this spot, now you you are in, in the situation. Fives are great, and sixes are also okay because they don't play. So that's what you want to achieve I see. when waiting. Ah, yes. To escape. So dance, mm. dance, dance, and no five still. So. Yeah, two to one probably should buy yourself more time than the other play. Four, there it That's is, uh, outfield one. control. Wow. So now Dark Friend is really under pressure to roll the five. This is not it. So just clear the. Yeah, and I think he probably just should clear five. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the question is how will Mick position his checkers in the outfield? Or should he hit? Or should he hit? And the hit is the direct way of winning. I mean, the hit. One thing he certainly considers is that not all of Darkfin's hits are, are good. But here, when, he, when Darkfin doesn't roll a five, uh, then. Yeah, mm -hmm. then this could happen. Yep. So mm -hmm. I, I, I actually like mixed play. Yep. Weaken the board first, make him weaken the board first, and then you can strike. Okay. Okay, an ace would increase uh, the gamut a bit. Mm -hmm. Five two is a terrible shot because if you don't roll an ace, you want to hit at least mm -hmm. lose. So mm -hmm. this is pretty much as bad as it gets, unfortunately, for, for Mick. Yeah, Mick is pointing at uh, the eight points. Maybe he he is uh, considering slotting it. Yeah. Um, what about so? Does the checker slotting difficult stuff? Yeah, I like that he keeps the pressure on Darkfin's blot, but now it's gone, and now. If he rolls a six for a uh, double fours, solves the problem. And I probably want to slot the bar mm -hmm. and just make it as quickly as possible. Yeah, that's that's a nice play, I think. 
So chances are that Nick will get on the scoreboard. Yes. Finally. So the rest is basic stuff. Oops. Hits. Oh. It did hits. Yeah, that's he the sees first it thing. Quickly. Okay, he says yeah. it really quickly. Wow. But certainly, I hope that Doug can miss this because I really, it's <laughs> just so, so, so boring. So, yeah. Okay. So now, in. In. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. yeah. Play inside. Five. So refusing the battle box seems to pay off finally. <laughs> Five is there any racing chances? Now he has got one off, so maybe this looks it doesn't look like uh, mick will have a miss here could happen some aces and uses oh no still doesn't look like a miss and that's not enough mm -hmm. two one so maybe it's a doublet a doublet from Darkfin. Oh yeah, yeah. there's the that's yeah. the crucial checker, yeah. So he still needs two doublets. This is not it. So almost gin. Yeah. That's gin. So mm -hmm. okay. Nick finally gets on the scoreboard. Glimmer of hope. Nine away, four away. Well, that's um, match winning chances like, what is it? Uh, five times. Oh man, uh, I think like 21% or something, but uh, five, five, two. Four, five, I five, think, five. yeah, don't know shows the aggressive spirit bring the checker down dark fin hits hi emil okay so you hit on the ace yeah you usually point? do but maybe here you want to make the three point even, but this certainly, I think I, I like to hit. I'm not sure about the last five because I really like to have my blood on the 20, ah. even though it it looks kind of bad to dump another checker on the eight. So now what are you going to do? You can make the, you can make the, 15 now he has to count the race because i think it's a nice probably nice to get it yeah make the and slot the five no slot the five keep contact you well it depends on the race yeah but even if you're leading in the race that checker i mean darkfin much prefers that checker to be out of his way so he can just dump checkers behind it yeah like in this case he yeah, could consider he will do the double dump yeah and <clears throat> so i mean mick has the stronger board and there's not much danger of getting that checker prime so he mm -hmm. prefers it to be on the 24 and now darkfin should simply hit loose i think i mean mm -hmm. this is just too awkward too stiff mm -hmm. and of course it depends on the race but it looks so natural to hit loose here 125. I don't like this. The race is practically easy. Yeah, maybe then, but still tough to get this home without leaving anything. I would be surprised if that mm -hmm. was the right idea. But it works so far. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so that's I, a racing yeah. roll. Yeah. Probably a small advantage. So, by the way, at this score in a pure race, uh, actually four away, uh, Nick cannot take more than at a neutral score. He has to pass more in pure races, uh, oh, just really? to keep it in mind, the four away rule. So. Well, but uh, Mick is uh, nine away, so Darkfin can probably take a little deeper because the extra point yeah. brings Mick to an uneven score, yeah, to no, uneven away. No, away. I, I mean, if Darkfin takes the racing lead, uh, Mick cannot take more ah, because, right. because of the four way. Sure, that... sure, sure. Yeah, Mick can, yeah, should let it go a little quicker. Even that is very counterintuitive when being down by mm -hmm, four, mm -hmm. five points in the match. That, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. why I'm mentioning it. Sure. Yeah. So a small money take would probably become a, 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 bit a, of pa a pass. A pass at this score, mm -hmm. even tr though you are trailing, mm -hmm, which is mm -hmm. not what you would expect or what most would expect, I suppose. Okay, so is that. 113. So, so Darkwin certainly shouldn't be more conservative in his cube action, in his doubling action. Yes. So it looked like Darkwin won some pips in the race here, but certainly not enough to cube. Is he eight? No. Yes, play from the 11. And he's considering keeping the 11 as a landing spot for mm -hmm. 2x, like 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6. Mm -hmm. But that gives him bad aces, so I think this is the natural move. Puts the checkers on the high points. So now, what's the race here? Mm -hmm. So... 95, 93 for black. 16, 16. Is it 11? 16, no. 16, 105 for white. That's plus 2, plus 2 is 46. 95 for dark fin, so that becomes 86. So I think it. Could have been a cube already hmm. at this score. Yes. I think he can cube this. Uh, let me just double check. 13 pips? Yeah, I would, I would ship it. Yeah, 13 pips. Yeah, 8, 85, 98. I definitely mm -hmm. would ship it, mm -hmm. uh, and because of the contact, it's probably a take, but it's not a comfortable take. It's only because there's still some contact, and uh, but the dark fin, if you rule, yes, a good cube, good cube. I, he I, knows I, his uh, match strategy. Yeah, considerations. I think you probably need to let it go. I don't think that yeah. the contact is has so much value. Yeah, okay. The the only reason is if Darkfin doesn't roll to high numbers quickly, he will will have to waste pips inside. So that will cost him in race equity. So okay. and yeah, even sometimes you you get the shot. So that is a little bit of shot equity, a little bit of equity of slowing your opponent down in the race. Like he rolls a couple of five three, five two, big yeah, I, I like the take actually yep. because okay. of the contact. Okay. Cube, yes, cube, Emil says cube. Uh, and yeah, now he starts dumping the checkers. Mm -hmm. So that's another, a way of catching up in the race, basically. Yeah, sure. The more waste that you have. Okay, the more so that's wow. just. Uh, yeah. Pretty much it. So we will get, probably get to 9 2. Yeah, I would take. Yeah, we would have taken as well. Um, mm -hmm. I would have dropped. 
You would have dropped. So yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Erroneously yeah. or not, but I yeah. think I would have dropped just to let him go to a three-way score. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Maybe. I'm not sure whether the contact compensated for the three, four mm -hmm. pips. That like, you are shy of uh, your new take. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Even though it may have been wrong. Yeah, I I certainly can't uh, say that it's a take with a high degree of certainty, mm -hmm. certainty for sure. Mm -hmm. Was a pass already. So ah, yeah, wow. that's why I'm saying, Michel, uh, <laughs> your input. Has, so yeah. was it a big pass? I cannot imagine it was big. Oh, yeah, how big? So we are yeah. setting Terrier at work. So 85, 98. So 85 plus 10 is 95. So you are three pips shy of your moment of last take. So the question oh, is whether it was that the contact was pretty big. Uh huh. 100. So, mm -hmm. and I think also Darkwin decided quickly because that, that seems to indicate that he had a cube before that already. If that was a marking losing sequence already and he had better roll, uh, sequences than that, so maybe it was a small double before already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We would have had, we would have needed the precise pip count, of course. It's a cube action for um, Mick. Yeah. You can definitely cube earlier than for money. Yeah, much earlier. Mm -hmm. But now, not, now that Darkwin has made the anchor, that's out of the window. Mm -hmm. Because that Gavin's wins for Mick just went way down. So. It takes out the volatility as well. Mm -hmm. So not, no market losers. So he can. So many juices that he would like to play. I mean, it's certainly nice to upgrade his anchor, but I think this is the constructive approach. No need to play super defensively, gets hit. It's back. Mm -hmm. And mm. now, finally, some structure for make. Uh, you, yeah, I just hate to play six to five in these situations. Yes. For, I wouldn't say for no good reason, but it's just like pattern recognition wise. It mm -hmm. just looks, doesn't look nice. And I also see a big downside to, to stepping up to the 22, 23. So, certainly how I would have played it. Mm -hmm. Makes the anchor anything else now? He has to secure the anchor and then he should play third. Uh, yeah, but 13 8, yeah, then he has to play 13 8. So you cannot afford to enter on the 20. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking now because this is so awkward to uh, just uh, sit there behind that forming prime. So maybe you just enter. Also, it is in his interest to, to create action, so to speak. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, but I would have know. played eight to six. I would have liked to, but yeah, maybe, maybe not. But feels like more natural. Yeah, stepping up is fine. But uh, I like in the end. I liked it that he played something more active than just sitting on the twenty-three anchor. Mm -hmm. Can you now play thirty-nine? No. Maybe. Well, what else? Oh, step, uh, up, step, step up, step up, step up, ah, step up yes. is more important. More here. dynamic. Mm -hmm. so one wow. is another nice joker. One. Really important to come in. Nope. Mm -hmm. so, double oh. three is the next joker. Yes, make the use point. Mm. Yeah, use point is so natural here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. You prevent uh, your opponent from anchoring. And it's just like if... I mean, in Darkfin, it's really 
happy of course winning an undoubled cannon here so yeah and maybe 1310 mm -hmm. more flexible yes before it's a nasty double ace well, of course, it gives the double ace joker, but I think it's just he should play yeah, flexible yeah, yeah. and not look mm -hmm. for the super jokers, guard against the super jokers. Oops. Yeah, this battle box is tricky. Mm -hmm. Double no, four two. So I think four maybe simply out. Yeah, well, why not? And maybe then uh, 13, 13, 11 and out this usually xg maybe this is not the case here really likes the out place in these but i never know exactly what to do in certain in situations really? like that what is this blitz connectivity or what is it called yeah do yeah. you have to like mobilize your back checkers yeah. or improve your front position yeah. but uh, going to the seven is certainly fine now you yeah. make lock mm -hmm. up the game and uh, mm -hmm. split your back checkers yes mm -hmm. okay there's one ace a glimmer of hope i would yes, say definitely and uh, if darkman can he should attack this is just okay. so ace would be yeah i mean again Mick cannot win here. That's really a situation that he finds himself in quite a while, uh, quite so, in in some games already. So, not a very nice no way of. I mean, you really suffer when you're <laughs> constantly only trying to avoid the worst. Yes. But what can you do? Okay, there's uh -huh. the ace, so okay. some, some hope again. Darkfin comes in and 11-6 seems maybe now natural to maximize um, attackers. I think I would play 11-6 here. Okay. But... Uh, completely in the dark. Ah, okay. okay. So now... What is this? Uh, probably nothing. Dark friend should just be rolling. Rule of thumb when you're two way and there is uh, some significant amount of gammons to be won, just don't cube. <laughs> period. Yeah, the gammon value with the cube in the middle. Oh, yeah, and you, you kill your own gammons, and mm -hmm. certainly. Mick would be happy taking this and shipping it back and every once in a blue moon even white wins a gammon then you really feel stupid when you are up <laughs> uh, two away nine away and lose eight points or something that should never happen basically playing correctly that is okay So this is super interesting, but I guess he has to play mm -hmm. safe. He cannot run out. I mean, he still has to be worried about losing the undoubled German. Darkwing should just hop out. Five three mm -hmm. at least makes an inside point. Yes, there's some chance that he can trap that lonely checker. For sure and yeah yeah i like this mm -hmm. yes doesn't want to be exposed too much oh, wow okay another good number is that a shifting i don't think so that's just so much work i mean you have to contain that i think it's more like 13 5 hope that he doesn't roll a six and then maybe he exposes another block i mean then you can attack on the ace uh -huh. in a much better situation yes a switch mm -hmm. is pretty bad i think Okay, five three. There, yeah, that's exactly what you're hoping for. Now you can go on the attack. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. I would have gone wrong here. I would have thought once again the same thing. If I put him on the bar, I have time to roll sixes without having to fear being attacked yeah, but, on the ace point. Well, it's so much stronger that you can hit and lose now on the on the ace. So much more pressure. So he should 
hit loose now on the ace and play a to six because then fives work for him sixes work for him and mm -hmm. then there's the question at this score at what time at what moment uh, white can cube here okay to six so it, could that be already i think he should seriously consider it you roll a five or you roll a six, he dances, you lost your mark. Yes. So I think you should cube now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just too many market losers. Yeah. Volatile. I mean, that's exactly the kind of, of not exactly. I mean, you, there are better positions to cube, but this is the type where you really want to be aggressive at the score. Yes, it I does. Really, wow. really like that cube. Yes. And I think the dark one has to take just way too much counterplay. Any ace is a killer now for Dark Fang. So now, now, what do the good players think here? Maximize, Maximize covers yeah. without duplication, stuff so 15 like that. 15 fives plus 4 is 19 covers. 6 2, you probably don't want to cover, I'm not no, sure. No, probably. Yeah, that, that would be at least a tricky this one. It's also 15. 15. Plus ah, this yeah. is plus three is eighteen covers. I'm oh, yeah. I'm at a loss in these things. Yeah, and certainly he has to be a little bit careful because if he wins the game, he he has two minutes on the clock. So out a six, that's uh, huge. Six out and four yeah. in. So yeah. now the pressure is on Darkfin. Yeah, definitely. Well, what a turnaround that yes. we could observe here. Very nice cube. Whoa, look. If he can pick up the second checker, he will win about 40% gammons. Yeah. There it is. Wow, what a reversal. Okay. Okay, good for the match. Yeah, yeah. down the double sixes play five one two four <laughs> yes yeah marianne is puking <laughs> oh yeah. wow she had uh, something bad to eat last night <laughs> no no yeah for, of yeah. course yeah yeah but still marianne darkfin is a 60 percent favorite to save the gammon and if he doesn't he's still uh 74 for percent favorite to win the match so yes. overall uh, I mean of course I'm sure you are if you are a, a dark fin uh, supporter you want the match to be over yeah, yeah come on just, wrap it up let's yeah. go and have a sandwich uh, exactly but to uh, to mix credit I mean he's fighting and he found the perfect cube yeah needs to avoid at, six five at least I think if he, he did certainly I would have now, cubed now He's thinking about taking off. I, oh. You win more gammons if you take off, but you take a bit of a risk. But uh, I, oh. This would be a guess for me. Yeah, for me too. Okay. Six four okay. is so okay. so. Okay, okay, this wow. was a crucial dance. 6 1. So again, so so, but uh, yeah, one entry mm. is the best. Some bad rolls. Wow. And yeah. here it is. Here it is. He played super safe and it's couldn't still... avoid uh, leaving the shot. There's the three immediately. This is really. So, Marianne, give us a smiley now. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, but Mick has seven checkers off, so he is what a 40, still has 42%. Should he be closed out? Yeah, of course, but uh, okay, a heart, it, that's nice. Ah, yes. Yeah. Thank you, Maria, Marianne. So now di diversify, and, yeah, continue. Okay, for one, I would go to the 11. So it's also the 6 4 works in the next roll if he enters and it guards again. 
the one six a bit. Ah, yes. Six one, so yeah just all the way it looks good okay in and probably out again in a moment five two okay that seals it okay okay this is about even it's evenish i think dark fin is a slight favorite yeah here. he has 57 percent oh, with okay. eight checkers off uh, you have uh, it's about 50 percent okay so he has seven off so that's like, I think Darkfin is a 57% favorite. If he can position his checkers perfectly on the high points. Which is not Something. guaranteed, of course. No. So you have to be a bit mentally strong if you play high level backgammon, like for Mick, coming down from a hopeless position, then really getting close to a possible comeback you just have to take it on the chin yeah but when you see the faces of these players oh, i yes. mean of course he, he's not looking happy now but also well i don't think he would look much different if he were uh, when he... nine five up okay yes that's six yeah ah, that's a good question here so the six that was 14 checkers. i think i would take off because uh, well, yeah, yeah i think mm. because uh, i mean after six uh, it feels like uh, the correct thing to do but may not Maybe 14 it's... versus 11 bill roberty says and if you count the crossovers you should be like three crossovers up for you to play safe. Okay, I got this I from his that. book, uh, 501 Essential Problems. Okay, now it's really looking so good for Darkfin. Mm -hmm. Big needs to come in with a high number. This no. is not it. So, of course, take off and three more to the deuce and to the three i suppose oh you can take off why not take off yes take them um, off yeah of I course guess, take, take yes, rip them sure, sure, sure. rip them okay so contact <laughs> <laughs> another twist and turn no six one dark fin is relentless yeah. now dark fin seems to be cruising home okay here it's a little too late here he goes and yeah, that yeah. seals it. So Darkfin progresses to yeah, the next congratulations round. Congratulations to Darkfin. Mm -hmm. And also congrats to Mick. I yep. think they both played really well. Do you agree? It looks like it. Yeah, sure. As far as I can judge. So Mick is out of it. And Darkfin uh, progresses to the third round of the Super mm -hmm. Jackpot, which will be streamed it, it, later. It's uh, scheduled for 5 30 wow. so uh, yeah a tight schedule here Gee. now uh, yeah that's a yeah, whew, pretty tight schedule now so there will be another round before the dinner break at least according to Arda so stay tuned mm -hmm. uh, uh, so plan is for now that Tobias will take over okay next match and I will commentate uh, the the late night the, the, the yeah we will switch from the super jackpot to the final of the doubles world championship of course so yes. that will be at 8 30 after the dinner break mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's that's the plan i yeah yeah okay best thing we can do is yeah ah, there are the prs yeah good so they both played uh, wow. super, super good uh, so uh, i'm really happy for them both uh, how well they played mm -hmm. and yeah anything so, else you want to say no and, uh, a great match to watch a great match to watch two good players it's always a coin toss as to who is going to win these duels mm -hmm. so we're looking forward to the continuation of the super jackpot here and yes. the final of the doubles
So, so goodbye, everybody. I would say yeah, goodbye. Thank you, Dirk, the, for your insights. Thanks, thanks a lot, Michelle. Mm. Uh, you you beat me on that uh, oh, fast decision. So wow, we we'll celebrate you. this. Thank thanks a lot, <laughs> and hope that I will be able to commentate with you again soon. And you guys stay tuned. Probably pretty soon we have some more action for you. <laughs>